As we turned the corner in the early morning on the Mara, there she was, the cheetah. So beautiful, so powerful, just lying there a few feet away. She gave our small jeep a quick look over and went back to relaxing. Jeeps are usually as common as elephants in the Mara, but due to a recent political situation in Kenya, the Masa Mara was empty that day. For her, it was a well-needed break. For her kind, it is a shortage of funds coming in, and those funds to help protect her kind and this land are needed now more than ever. And as she got up on the mound she was resting upon, you can really see the beauty and all her markings up against this blue sky. While looking at her, I couldn't help reflect on Cheetah's current situation. The cheetah's populations have fallen around 90% from what it was just 100 years ago, with just over an estimated 12,000 cheetahs remaining today. This girl is just happy she made it through another night. I can't even imagine the struggle she had as a cub to survive in the non-forgiving wilds of Africa, to adulthood and deal with not only local people protecting their livestock, but other predators like lion and hyena day after day and night after night. All the things she must see, all the struggles of her life she must take part in. Her ability to run faster than any other land mammal helps her in her needing to kill to simply get the food she needs to survive. In today's growing world filled with greed, she fights for her simple place to live and be left alone. Cheetahs are reportedly sold to can hunts and also found on the illegal animal trade. All I wanted from her that day was a photo, in which I got. We didn't stay long as we had other wildlife to see, but to be with this cheetah for just a few moments was an honor and something I will never forget. As she walked away and into the rocky area where the antelope called out her location all I can hear, I wondered if this cheetah would be fast enough to not only outrun her prey, but her own extinction. I hope so.